What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video, guys. Another day, another blessing, another me. You guys going to see, as you guys can see by the title, this happened to Clarence before Vlogmas. Get, get emotion. It gets emotional. So, I don't know who gets emotional. I don't know what's going on, guys. I seen this when I was scrolling down my timeline. And um, I think the tea room had post something a little, I think later in the week or early in the week was saying something about pray for Clarence. He was in the hospital. And I did do a little clip of that from that in particular video. But guys, we're about to just um, react to their whole vlog. Make sure y'all like, come subscribe, and share this video. Make sure y'all post notification on, guys. So when I get ready to post one of your requested videos, you will get the notification. Go ahead on, guys, and subscribe to my other channel. The link will be in the description down below. Watch this video to the end and comment something, a heart or something. Just leave a comment. Let's get into this video. It's hot. Hold on, turn it up. Let's get into this video. I'm praying and hoping everything is okay. Yeah, he's just telling me to chill out. Are you about to get emotional? Yeah. Aww. That was a very, uh... This is how we are Did starting. his voice? Oh, my goodness. Bring out Vlogmas, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. Crazy way to start Vlogmas, but I'm still thankful. We just yeah. had Thanksgiving in the hospital. This is probably about our sixth day in the hospital. I'm about to go back to the hospital and help Clarence out. He's been in there for some things that I'll probably let him explain to you guys, but we about to go to the hospital right now. Him and CJ are there. Legend is with his TT, but we have been staying the night at the hospital, so I had to come home and get freshened up and grab some things. Welcome to Vlogmas. Okay, we just have right. arrived here. I'm about to walk into the room. It's traffic. He probably been waiting, but yeah, we just arrived. Trust me. I live in Georgia as well. I live, <clears throat> excuse me, maybe 20, 30 minutes from the city, 15 minutes from the city. And I don't know what queen them live, but I know they live in Atlanta, Georgia. So they live somewhere in Georgia, guys. The traffic here is bananas. Oh my god, when I say it's like the on the other side of prison, oh god. cold and stuff. <sighs> they just brought him lunch. You want me to turn on? Oh lord, that's a highlight. I like the highlight. Wanna make it low? They just gave him lunch, y'all. What is this? What is it? It looks like you just got a fruit tree. Let me see that. It look good though. You got some baked chips, you got a cookie. Do you want the cookie, CJ? Chill out, gang. Yeah. Are you going to eat Or do you want to go down to the cafeteria? No. Chill out, gang. Are you going to eat that cookie? Probably I told him not. this is a crazy way to start vlogmas. Probably not. Okay. Ah, damn. Here we are. He look like he's feeling better, guys. How was your experience in this hospital, what would you say? Come on, surprisingly good. Yo, I promise y'all, he was not like this when he first got here. He's really good, I'm so glad, but yeah. he was like, yeah. Nah, I feel him. He was in a lot of pain when he first got here. Mm. I need your help, though. Okay, Cold in here. I was freezing last night. You hungry, CJ? Yeah, I do. I have waffles. I don't think they have waffles. I think there's pancakes we can order on the menu, but I don't know if they're today. I see myself. Ooh. I'm scared. <laughs> I could scare somebody right now. No, you can't. Can you write down how like a Yeah. Uh, I'm scared a little kid. I'm a little kid cry right now. Oh, I like you. You about to go on a walk? Uh, brush my teeth first. Yours is the purple one, right? Yeah. Yours is the, uh... Yellow. Yeah. Can they I make sure you... They for me again. Oh, they did? They about to test you out? Yeah. Y'all. Every time we go to the hospital, for some reason, guys, I know some of y'all have experienced this. Every time we go into the hospital, they take so much blood nowadays. I'm like, why y'all got to take so much blood? We're running tested on this. We're running tested. Just take one tube of blood. Huh? And then that's it. Share that blood. Gosh. They wanted to take one more and look at it before I leave. First day out. <laughs> this is about to be the first day out. First day out the hospital. Y'all don't understand. They don't understand. Y'all don't understand. We had Thanksgiving here, y'all. We had Ooh. food lined up. I had the chef come. It was food lined up all against this thing. It was just pans. It was on my Snapchat. See, Dad ordered you Kava last night. You ain't even eat it. You ain't even eat it. You just wasted it. He got a greens and greens bowl. Oh. They say he didn't Why don't you eat it? You wasted my money. Now you owe me some money. How much? How much? However much it cost it. Well, how much? He's now brushing his teeth. How do you feel about staying at the hospital? It's okay? Yeah. You rinsed your mouth out? Wait, where's Legend? Oh, I don't know. Squeaky clean? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, baby. You like need a haircut. And the braids. What's the first thing you want to do for Vlogmas? You want to put the Christmas tree up? Or you don't want to do that? You want somebody else to do it? Put the, I want to put the Christmas tree up. Or how about we have the lady put the Christmas tree up and then we make our own ornaments to put on there. Like you could paint it. Both. You want to put it up too? I want to put the um, Christmas tree it's up. It's tall. I know. I want to put the Christmas tree up and I want to do the, the ornaments. Okay. <laughs> We're about to go grab. Guys, I love Christmas. Christmas is my favorite holiday. Honestly, I have my Christmas tree up over there. And y'all go and subscribe to my vlog channel so y'all can see the other side of my life besides just reacting, which I love doing reacting videos. Um, anywho, guys, so yeah, so go subscribe to the channel. So I'm going to show you guys where we've been getting food for the past six days down in the cafeteria. Hopefully nobody stops me with a camera because I'm trying to get a vlog. Yeah, I'm going to do a low-key. What does low-key mean? Like low-key. Like delicious? <laughs> no, low-key is like barely showing people what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Is that warm? Snuggly? Mm -hmm. Okay, CJ. CJ getting big too, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Alright y'all, so this is so we've been getting our food. Oh, this, this is, the is magic. That's Magic Johnson. He's talking about something. Is that Chris Well? You're funny. Yes. Like a chef tour there. Oh dang. Chick-fil-A not open today. They got pizza over here. Let me see. They got burgers and fries over there. They ain't got nothing. They probably not open back up until like December something. But they do got pizza though. I'm about to see how long it takes to get it. The pizza is really good. I like the pizza too. I like the veggie pizza. Because he didn't want no pepperonis or anything. It's upset his stomach, and this is how the pizza looks. Let's give it a try, y'all. And also, guys, I love the pieces that um, QT have. QT have some great pieces in the morning time, guys. That those one little slice be like five dollars, less than five or close to five dollars, but they be so good. It's good. Not like New York pizza, but. It's good. It's not bad. That's why I got the drink. That's the baby. I got Clarence one too, but man, I don't know. I didn't know if you would have wanted the, the, the peach flavor one. I got you the regular sweet tea. Peach one, you got me a peach and kind of. Yeah, then you go to the gym. Yeah, they just walked in. That's what I'm going to say that they're probably going to discharge him they finally. Did. So he's putting on his clothes he came here with. Yeah, I'll be loving when they say that. Well, well the doctor's going to come by and discharge him. I'll be like, yeah. Then it take them forever. I'm like, man. Check it. You got to wait till they take the ivy out of his arm. That's so crazy. Like, to put it right there is insane because usually it goes like. I've never seen it right there. Yeah, yeah. We'll go right here. Yeah, usually yeah, it goes yeah. in here. Oh, yeah. I do have a big vein right That looked like it hurt, though. Neither is gonna really hurt me. Um, some other things to look out. Um, I mean, to call your doctor if you feel sick, your stomach can't tolerate any fluids, um, any pain, the oxygen has a problem. If you have any more questions or not, just let them know about that. You can go to this website and do that. It takes like Okay. My baby love to be at home. Okay, y'all, so Clarence is taking a nap and resting. And I am mopping our bathroom floor and stuff just to um, disinfect everything. I heard that you could pass out if you mix chemicals together, but I ain't never passed out, so I'm gonna use some of this all purpose. I've never passed out either. When I tell you I am a clean lady, I, I, you, I will mop the towel off your damn floor. Method cleaner. I'm gonna add a little tiny, tiny bleach in this yeah, mop water. I got yeah, this uh, mop bucket. Y'all can't really see it. It's this one. Ugh. I'm gonna add just a little bit because, yeah. Just a little bit. 
Just like a tad. What do y'all use for y'all hot water? Somebody give me some recommendations. Cause I haven't mopped in a while cause I have a cleaner. I've been using this to spray on the floors and like surfaces and then mop. I'll just spray it. Spray it and let it stick for a little bit. I like take my pine saw and kind of like go like this on the floor or you know I pour my stuff in sections on the floor and then I you know everybody will do it. I love this mop bucket because I love the way that it just like spins you know I'm about to mop this back and forth real quick Ooh, it's like a spin it's like a spin it's like a spin it's like a So yeah, that's what I'm doing. And then I think Legend is about to pull up. Legend is oh. here. One second. Okay, I thought it was Legend, but it's really Pie Bowls. Y'all, the Pie Bowls here. Y'all never had Pie Bowls? You're missing out. I know. I'm about yeah. to give one to Clarence because that's what he wanted. He wanted fruit. He didn't want, really want no food, food. So that's what I'm about to give him now. Oh, that looks good. Ooh. It's something I go there and get my bowl. <sighs> Say, <that>, ooh. <sighs> Your laptop's right here. What you looking for? You okay? Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. And you just need to come over more so they can see it. Ain't no way that feel good. It do. <laughs> and a good beer wash, too. Uh-huh. Yo, this is my favorite thing to do when I'm washing this hair. I'm about to show y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Clarence got the mohawk going on. Yeah, put, yeah, the mohawk. He really like one of them A-Rail with the mohawk. <laughs> She always do the mohawk thing. That's my favorite thing to do when I watch the piano wise. It's so funny to me. It feels amazing to be home, bro. You just watch the beer too, right? Mm -hmm. Do any of y'all girls like doing it? Yeah. Am I hurting it? It's like so therapeutic. For you or me? For me. It's very intimate. I know it's just a beard, but like washing your man's hair and your man's beard is very like yeah. in a non-sexual way. Clarence said he's gonna cut his hair into waves, y'all. Yeah, being in there, catching a few glimpses of myself. <laughs> it looked like I was going through way more than what I was going through in there. With the hair and like the beard and everything. I feel like being in the hospital will mentally also make you go through things. Oh, too. what? Like yeah. you start thinking about things. That was a very humbling. I mean, being in a hospital, it, it, you're stabilized where you could, you have so much to think about. You can't do nothing but scroll on your phone all day, every day. Watch the little lame movies. They were well, not movies, but they may have like fresh, pr what, fresh Prince of Bel Air or Martin come on every now and then. All the rest of it's just history. I don't like to watch it, but I hate being in the hospital. It's too much time. You have a lot to think about. I know. Guys, I went to the hospital and I was in pain. Like right here above above my um well a little bit under my like right here by my leg, right here where my um stuff at, you know. And I was in pain. Every time I walk, I just felt like it was a stab in pain. It was just something just not right. So I went to the hospital and when they did a CT scan on me, and that's when they she was like, We gotta do emergency service on you because your appendix is about to burst. I'm like, What? I hate that feeling. I was like, Mama, no. I cried mad time. I admit it. I cry, man. You cry like the baby. I'm trying to see if I can just get the hole and uh, switch it, or do you yeah, want to? Right oh, shit. Ah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dang, queen. Cool, boy. <laughs> just hit me on my back. All right. Oh, shit. 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 Oh, shit
Now, I'm going to do this, but it's going to get light in your eyes. So when you hit it. Oh, Right now. Look to the other side of the Now you're just trying to bring the shower back on and really get the fun to you Yeah. Curl, come down. Michael Jackson curl. Woo! Alright, y'all, I just wanted to show y'all me watching it too. So finally, it's a couple days later and Clarence is feeling better. We didn't get a chance to really end the vlog out. It's his first day in it's the my car. first day in the real world. Yeah, he's been stuck in the house. Actually, I'm going to let him here. I'm going to let you tell how you've been feeling. Yeah, let me tell him. Tell you. Don't mind me. Tell you, you story, know, I look man. a little crazy. I've been through a lot over these past sure couple past couple days. But this is my first time out. I've been feeling a lot better since being home because the hospital, in the hospital, I just was going through it. Queen, though, she has seen me go through mm. a lot of just pain. It's mm. kind of unfortunate, too, because a lot of y'all probably know, but my birthday's around the corner. And I'm mm. not sure I'll, I'll be able to, like, celebrate it the way I want to, but I'm just glad that I'm feeling better. And I'm able to get outside, sit in the car. I don't even have anything to do right now. I think Queen's about to go work out, and I think I'm just going to go with her because, like, I just want to be yeah. out. I'm usually an inside guy. Like, I, I like to stay inside, snap, play my game. I don't, like, I haven't touched the game. I just want to go outside. Like, I want to go to Sprouts and go get them some mangoes. Like, that's that's really what I want to do. But, yeah, I just, I want to tell you a little bit about my experience. I've never had surgery in my life, so that was very scary for me. And on top of that, I had two surgeries back-to-back -back that had to put me to sleep. One of the scariest moments of my life, and I'm just glad that I had my support system and my, my family with me, you know? If you watch my snap, you're gonna see CJ face on the couch, just like everybody just thugging it out clean she had like the same pimple patches on for like three days like like y'all was, was going y'all was good y'all was thugging it out i'm not gonna lie y'all was <laughs> yeah. ass thugging it like no the showers hospital, no the like, hospital blankets was mad thin we had to have multiple hospital blankets. three yeah everybody got three we spent about six i mean that's the hospital lab telling you it's like a prison man but you just get a little bit more privilege six days in the hospital everybody got three blankets on they were just thugging it out man and yeah it made me very emotional sometimes that's like all you need to get you by like i couldn't imagine doing all that like by myself it would have been literal hell at that same time like we're seeing people pass away we're hearing people outside the door screaming and crying because he was on the trauma floor yeah i'm on the trauma floor like where people are having major surgeries yeah. i felt like i didn't belong there like my surgery wasn't that serious like how those people were but it just showed me like how precious like life right. is you know and how like, quick it could go yeah and how quick it could go and that was like what was scaring me too because it was like you know once i go under you put me to sleep is like there's no you know anything could happen and they like they make sure you know that too you know like before yeah. i go under there like there could be yeah when they after they get you you get where you do your registration at the front when they take you in the back they make you feel like more paperwork in the back um for surgery for the table and then they be asking you crazy questions scary question like do you have any life insurance are you do you have a will i'm just like don't please don't ask me that now Jeez. Be difficulties. There could not be difficulties. They was asking you, would you um? The surgery you, could go right. Yeah, it could go wrong. You like a blood transfusion. Yeah. If they had asked me questions like, if things go wrong, are you okay with having a blood transfusion? Like, bro, like, yeah, what you mean I if know. things go wrong? Like, I do believe that like situation where God was just telling me to chill out. Like, just, you need to sit down and relax, realize who he is, what I got, you know, like my family and stuff. Life just happens, you know. I'll be on this, like, money run all the time. Like, every day I, I wake up, I make money. Like, that's what I'm good at. That's what I do. But money isn't everything, you know. And I think this situation kind of showed me that money couldn't save me. Money couldn't make me feel any better. My money didn't mean anything. Are you about to get emotional? Yeah. Because that was a very, uh traumatic experience i must say we prayed a lot we was yes. people praying for him doctors mom, praying for me doctors too. the pastor at our church me i was praying for him a lot his mom we was praying everybody was praying he had prayers for him and god was there with him it was scary for me too i would say like the first surgery i was like okay babe like yes. I, mm. 
I don't like to see people cry. I don't. I'm not that person. I don't like to see people cry. I don't like people, people get emotion because when they cry, I cry. I don't know why. It's just an automatic thing. You, you got know? this. Like you know, you'll be fine. But when they came in again, it was like we gotta go back. In, you know, I knew God still had you, but I was. It was a little scary because this mm -hmm. surgery had took a little bit longer. I'm just sitting in the room like. It took way longer. Yeah, it took longer. Like... I'm like, is he done yet? Like, yeah. you know, I'm asking the doctors like, when is he gonna be out? It was just taking long, so I was getting a little nervous. But you know, everything went well. Even though we spent Thanksgiving in the hospital, I still made the best of it. Had yeah. a chef come bring food. He still was able to have Thanksgiving food after his surgery. Mm -hmm. I also felt really good because the doctors and the nurses that were working there that day, they were able to get a plate. While he was in surgery, the nurses was lining up to get a plate in the room, and I just felt good that I was able to do something. I made some people's days just because, like, you know, they yeah, wasn't... Yeah, wasn't. Without with yeah. Queen, they wouldn't probably have got in Thanksgiving yeah, food yeah. like me, like me either. But when I was I done my do surgery, it. I heard there was, like, a bunch of doctors and nurses lining up outside my room <laughs> for some Thanksgiving plates. So oh, once sweet. it was successful and I woke up, they was like, man, you got a plate waiting for you. <laughs> I'm like, all right. And the nurses at Grady was so... Yeah, I was at Grady Hospital. I seen a lot of people commenting on Shade Room, like saying they got my boy Clarence at Grady. And was, I'm glad I picked Grady. That was my first time at Grady. They were but great. While I was yes, going through what I was going through when I was home, I was just researching like best hospitals. There was a few hospitals better than Grady, but they just were saying that the nurse and the doctors truly care at Grady and I couldn't agree more. Yeah, they really wow. cared. It was so sweet. Like, I had a doctor pray for me. Nurses, like, just taking overly care of me. Like, and I know, like, y'all gonna say, oh, well, they, they know who you are and stuff, but it's like, they were straining everybody like that. You know what mm. I mean? And that really meant a lot. So, for all the nurses, I know maybe, maybe, maybe not, y'all will see this. I love y'all, man. Y'all were truly part of the reason why I was able to get out of there, for real. I'm not trying to get emotional again, but they're for real. Aww. The nurses, right? I'm not yeah. gonna lie. The nurses was, uh, yeah, it was, was tough. They did more than just their job. I can tell you that. They give them a raise. For real. Okay. And the people that took care of me in the emergency room. I know that there's going to be some mixed feelings about this, but the emergency room was packed, y'all. I think that's just more like God's favor on us. Little things happen to me and Queen like that. Like, like God's favor just be... Um, he be favoring. He be and I love that. I love that. I love to see God work, you know, um, his favor, you know, because sometimes when you're thinking that things don't work out, you know, bam, then you be like, you don't know what this that gonna come from and it's just out the blue. And you know it'd be God, you know. Sure. Favor for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When I tell you that there was a four hour wait in the emergency room and I didn't have to wait four hours, I probably waited fifteen That's minutes. Fair. Yeah. They also said when you went in, though, like, you were in a lot of pain, too. Yeah, they said yeah. I was dilated. No one ever told me that. That scared me a little bit. I'm like, I had to ask them, like, what's dilated mean? It means, like, your eyes are like this. You're sweating. Like, it looked like yeah. you're about to pass out, gang. Yeah. Like, that's basically <laughs> what dilated is. So Should they already had to, like, rush the situation. Because mm -hmm. I was dead about to... I thought pass I was going to pass probably. out. Yeah, I thought I was going to pass out from, like, the pain I was having. But, yeah, that's, like, that's all I got for y'all. Yeah, y'all, we just... We know y'all was wondering, so... But... It took me a little while to... Sh they never... I mean, that you guys still not telling us what happened. Sure. Took me like three days. I've been here for like three days. Haven't really been in the mood to record, so I apologize about that. You guys are getting this video a little yo, late, yo, but he wouldn't even talk to his friends that he talked to on a daily basis. I was just scared. Like, yeah, I was just... he didn't want to talk to nobody. Again, I've never, I, I've never been through this. You know what I'm saying? So like to tell people like my my business. I know? feel that. Over the days, I've talked to a few people that um, are very close to me, so I'm glad I got that out of the way. But I know y'all also wanted us to do Vlogmas. We're probably and we I was started. Planning on doing it. I started this vlog out saying Vlogmas is starting crazy. We might honestly, I don't know. We're gonna try to post as much as we can, but with his birthday coming up with so many things just always happening this month I don't know if we can do it every single day because as you can see, like we're recording on December like 3rd. 3rd. Yeah, this is oh, the third day third. of Vlogmas and it, it's just been a it's really, it's really, it's, it, it, it's really my fault. It's not your fault. I'll take the blame, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. This is, this is not your fault. It'll be a lot. No, because your health is important because if you wasn't here unfortunately we would never see you again right guys i mean if we tried to do vlogmas for you guys like this okay, i'm still not i'm probably like 60 percent like you know i'm not probably like 65 percent it'd be very hard on queen and the kids i think because i wouldn't be there to you know 
help and I mean I could me and the kids could do videos and stuff until nah, it's for, better. Nah for sure. I just I do Christmas related videos, so you know what I'm saying? Like if y'all do like uh, this be a little it's be a little vlogmas. Like I half vlogmas. Give us a little Christmas ideas that y'all wanna see. I know we're getting the tree put up today. Mm -hmm. Trying to figure out the different colors that we're gonna do this year. I know last year we did a photo shoot. I wanna do another one. I would love to do another one, keep it a tradition, but we don't have to get dressed up. We could do like pajamas or something. I'm not sure. But we just wanted to let y'all know what was going on into the vlog out and here we are blessed and highly favored and living facts love you guys and all y'all that was praying for me too i really do appreciate it the love is definitely felt i really do appreciate you guys and i appreciate my lovely queen right here appreciate cj legend i know y'all seen legend praying for me in the in the hospital cj almost brought tears to my eyes because he was on break too and i know he wanted to um play his game and stuff <laughs> There was a day that they were gonna leave and Queen was like, I think we should stay or something. And CJ was like, it's okay, mommy. Like, I'm good. This is all I need. Like, I'm with my family. I got my phone. <laughs> My son used to say that I'd be hating because, oh, God, he'd be messing with my emotions. Like, man. he did say, he said, I got my phone. He said, I, I got, got my family. family. Like, that's all I need, you know? Yes. And, yes. and that's really all we need. Yeah. In the grand scheme of things, like, oh. that's really all we need. That's my boy right there. Yeah. Oh. All we need is our family and some Wi Fi and God. Oh, really <laughs> that's pretty much God, Wi Fi, and family. Yeah, y'all. You good? You good, babe? Aww. I'm all right. Yeah, you more than all right. That that made me a little emotional, like for CJ to be that young and like like you know he cares for me, so that was I thought that was dope. Yeah, CJ was up in there yeah, playing nurse. Yeah, he was taking care of me, making sure I had a blanket on me. It was taking my vitals. Like, <laughs> CJ, I'm not gonna lie, cause the legend wasn't really there. Legend was mostly with his aunt, so it was really just me, Queen, and CJ just dugging it out for real. Mm -hmm. So I really do appreciate CJ for that for sure. Aww. Legend walked straight in like, I want pancakes, I want, yeah, I want you. <laughs> Legend's still a little young. He know I'm in pain, he like, oh, daddy's in pain, but like, he he just still. He was like, I want my pancakes, yeah, he want, I don't care. He want what he want, the world is his. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But for CJ to show that amount of selflessness and care it was just, it was really dope to see. Aww. My son's a lover like his mom. I'll end it there. We gonna end it? Yeah, that's all I got to say. All right. We love you guys, and we will see you guys in the next vlog. That's sweet. You know what's better than one Papa John's pizza? Two Papa John's pizza. That's right. I mean, he didn't have to let us know exactly what's going on. He just wanted to know he was okay. He had to have surgery, and then he had to have two surgeries. So, you know, big ups for, you know, just keep keep praying for people because of the after the after surgery, what what they call it? Um, The aftercare surgery, you know, people could do too much. They end up back in the hospital. So, we're going to keep praying. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Make sure y'all post a notification on, guys, so when I get ready to post one. Yeah, so when I get ready to post one of y'all requested videos, you will get the notification. With that being said, guys, I'm signing off this video. Y'all stay safe and blessed and let God do the rest. And I'll see you guys in the, in the next video. Don't go nowhere. I'm about to drop another video. Peace. Love you. Bye.